Now, if you're a Chicago Cubs baseball fan, to say that this past weekend when the Cubs clinched the National League Championship Series to advance to their first World Series was a moment you've been waiting for for a long time, would be a bit of an understatement. But what does Chicago Cubs baseball have to do with your workers' compensation program? I'm Michael Stack with AMAX, and today I'm going to be telling you a personal Chicago Cubs baseball story, and I think you'll be a bit surprised about how the lesson can apply to your work comp program. So let's go all the way back 13 years ago, October 14th, 2003. I was single at the time and living on the north side of Chicago within walking distance to Wrigley Field. It was an exciting year. The Cubs were doing well. They made it to the playoffs. They won the divisional series, and they were up three games to two in the National League Championship Series. Some friends and I decided to get tickets to that game six, which is the infamous Steve Bartman game. Now, our seats were in the upper deck and the left of left field basically directly behind Steve Bartman, and he was sitting right along the field's edge. We had a great vantage point, really, to see the entire stadium as well as outside of the stadium, both Waveland Avenue and Sheffield. Mark Pryor was on the mound, and it was an extraordinarily exciting game. The second inning, we're winning. Third inning, we're winning. Fourth inning, we're still winning. The excitement is building. The excitement is building. You could see on the streets behind the stadium, Waveland and Sheffield, More people start building. More people start coming. More and more people start coming as we get in the fifth inning, the sixth inning, the seventh inning. The excitement is building. The energy is palpable in the stadium because the feeling is we're going to finally do it today. Of course, we know what happened next. The foul ball was hit into Steve Bartman's seat. He interfered with with the ball. Moises Alou goes crazy. And the interesting part, and here's the lesson, is the expectation changed in that instant the energy in the entire stadium which was so high immediately left the stadium the fans felt it and the players felt it the very next play was a routine ground ball should have been a double play ball we were still winning three runs to one at that point and could have gotten us out of the inning to go on to win the game but of course Alex Gonzalez made the error The Marlins scored eight runs that inning. We lost game six, and we lost game seven. And it wasn't until 13 years later that the Cubs finally clinched that National League pennant. So here's the lesson. Do not underestimate the power of expectations. When your employee gets injured, what is their expectation for what's going to happen at your company? I want to give you some how-tos here. When you're at the hire, when you talk to them, about your program, you need to give them an employee brochure. This is at the hire as well as at time of injury. You talk to them about this is how you do it at your organization. You do steps one, two, three, four, and five. You give them that employee brochure. You drive them to medical treatment to the doctor's office or to the hospital. The supervisor drives them, and while you're driving them and you're talking to them about what's going to happen, you give them the employee brochure. This is the expectation for what's going to happen. Day after, you give them a phone call. How's things going? Assess their attitude. Get some valuable claims management information, and then you do weekly meetings with them doing the same thing, assessing their attitude, answering questions, getting valuable claims management information, and demonstrating care. Setting the expectation and then meeting the expectation. Do not underestimate, as in the case was was the the Chicago Cubs, the power of expectation. Now, if you're watching this video somewhere other than ReduceYourWorkersComp.com, go ahead and go to that website. Sign up to receive a lot more free information on how to reduce your workers' compensation costs. Again, I'm Michael Stack with AMAX. Remember, your success in workers' compensation is defined by your integrity. So be great.